Hi guys, this is Trisha here with another video. Did you guys notice that I changed my name? Yeah, so I changed my name because that first name wasn't really meant to be a YouTube name. It was just whatever. So I changed my name to Trisha's Beauty Space. So hopefully you guys like the name. And also comment below what you guys have been up to since the quarantine and tell me what you're missing tell me what you're missing and when this is over what you're looking forward to doing for me i am i am i can't even say how many things i'm missing right now but i absolutely miss going to church today is sunday i would have been at church so i miss going to church i miss my walks guys central park is absolutely beautiful right now and i am missing out on on all of that so i'm missing that and what i'm looking forward to is just being out so i can take walks and also for my birthday august is my birthday i'll be 45 so i'm like excited about that but then again i'm like i'm hoping this thing is over and everybody comes through with at least come through with good health because this is real so hopefully you know we all can gather back here when it's over and just you know thank god so i'm going to talk about fragrances today because that's what i love to do and yeah you guys like watching it so i'm going to talk about fragrances wedding fragrances hopefully some of us will be getting married you know near future so um, I'm going to be talking about fragrances and the, the different um, location that you can, the bride can wear these fragrances. So if you're having a garden wedding, a beach wedding, um, an evening wedding, or a, just a traditional um, wedding, then I'm going to talk about the fragrances that I think would match that's already in my um in my collection so the first one I'm gonna talk about are beach weddings I love beach weddings absolutely love it so the first one is from Coco Mademoiselle and this is um, number five low and this one is fresh it's very carefree it's nothing like the first one so you know if you're a carefree um, bride that you want to be in a nice flowy dress um, nothing extra just nice and pretty i think the low is perfect it's fresh it's um light it's floral it's beachy i think it has that um like a uh a, a orangey um zesty type of smell so yeah this is perfect for that the next one is from hermes and this is the twilly de hermes and I picked this one because it has, when you smell it, it's just fresh. It has that nice, zesty, ginger, white floral smell. And I think this would be so pretty for a beach wedding. The last one is a coconutty sweet scent. And this is from Dolce & Gabbana. And this is Garden. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I can definitely see this on a... Uh, a bride who is more you know the beachy vibe so these are the three that I have the next location is a garden wedding and I the way how I look at garden wedding it's a little bit step up from the beach wedding it's more still definitely low-key but it's very pretty very romantic and yeah, the first one that I pick is from Aqua de Parma and this is Magnolia Noble. And of course, Magnolias, there are Magnolias everywhere right now. It's in full bloom. I love it. It's like one of my favorite um, flower. And this is all Magnolia, pretty much. It's very pretty and I think this would be nice for an outdoors wedding. The next one is from um, Gucci and it is Gucci Bamboo. And again, this is very floral, very pretty, a little bit of sweet. And yeah, this is very nice also for an outdoorsy wedding. Another one is from Estee Lauder and this is Beautiful Belle. And again, it is white floral because it's a garden, right? It's a white floral. It's pretty. It's a little bit sweet, very feminine. So yeah. 
And the last one is also from Gucci. And this is Gucci Bloom. And this is the Nat Natari De Fury pronunciation. But anywho, this is from their Gucci Bloom line. And there's a lot of them. I think there's about four of them right now. So this one is more tuberosey to me. It's 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 very floral. So it's very very floral, very much garden like. And I I love it. And all that I've mentioned, they have a little bit of sweetness and a little uh, floral and sweetness. So those those are the ones that I pick for like the garden wedding. The next one is the traditional wedding. This one is um of course it's kind of formal black tie formal but it's the traditional church or you know if it, if it's not church that's your tradition but it's traditional churchy for me the first one is a oldie but a goodie and this is from um victor and roth and this is flower bomb and i think this is a pretty pretty wedding scent just very flowery <laughs> very flowery traditional yeah you cannot go wrong with flower bomb the next one that i picked for my traditional wedding is miss dior and this is just the miss dior order perfume and this one is again very floral and a bit sweet it's on the same line as the um flower bomb and the next one is a little bit different from the flower bomb and i'm gonna this is my travel one because i use the big one the big one is gone done this is from Guerlain and this is the Mon Guerlain and this is my wifey perfume this is what I call my wifey perfume I get compliments for this one and this is very sweet vanilla just pretty oh my goodness when your husband smells this on you it's the wifey perfume and I love it this one definitely for the bride and the last one is from Lancome and this is the La Via Belle what is this called the Le Clot <laughs> Eclot let's not pronounce it but you know what it is the Eclot or Eclot or something but yeah this is a flanker for the La Via Belle and I picked this one because La Via Belle is done so I picked this one because it's, again, it's very sweet, very floral and sweet. So yeah, I love this one. The last um, category or location are for the evening weddings. And this is the weddings that's going to be like after six. And the first one that I picked is from Narciso and this is Poudre. Oh, every time I smell this one, the smile, I, the smile, this one makes me happy. <laughs> it has musk, it has vanilla, it has white florals, it has, um, it's just pretty. This is just pretty. Pretty. And I think this is the perfect scent for those who are going to do their night wedding. Um, they want to step a little bit out of the box. Um, yeah, so this one is from Narciso Rodriguez and this is Poudre. And the last one is from Christian Louboutin and this is their Trouble in Heaven. And this one, this one is a little, little out of the box. But this is definitely the night sexier type of bride. Sometimes there are brides who don't want, who are not the white dress type of bride. The brides who are not just, they're not just into the frills. They, you know, they're, they're the ones who will wear the black dress <laughs> for the wedding. Or if you're having a really formal, formal wedding and the bridesmaids are in probably a navy blue they do that or black this is and the bride is in a black wedding dress or 
a red wedding dress, whatever she want to wear. But this one is stepping a little bit out of the box. This is, ooh, this is, it's floral, but it's a little bit woodsy. Um, this is definitely like a tonka bean. This is vanilla. This is definitely woodsy. And it has flowers in it too. So yeah, this one, Troubling Heaven, this is if you want to be all the way out the box. If you want to be all the way out the box, this is definitely one, guys. So those are the fragrances that I picked out of my collection for the different locations. For your wedding if you're a bride or even if you're a guest i think these would be appropriate so guys hopefully you like thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye take care take care sanitize wear your mask wear your gloves and just be safe i'll see you in my next video bye bye